Hello, you are welcome to my channel. I am Blessing Ejechi, your beacon of transformation. Thank you very much for watching this channel. Please, if today is your first time, I would like you to subscribe. Click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that anytime I post a new video, you will be notified. In my last post, I told you that I was going to post 20 reasons why men cheat. And today, we are going to be looking at the 20 reasons why men cheat. Just before we start, I want to appreciate everyone that has given me their own points of view. Thank you very much. God bless you. Secondly, I want to let you know that I am not in any way supporting infidelity in marriage. I'm a Christian and also a pastor. Please, these reasons I will be giving are for your education, for your edification, so that anytime you see things going wrong in your family, you'll be able to correct them. I believe these points will enable you to put things right in your marriage. These 20 reasons are divided into three. The first phase of it is the societal reason or the societal cause. Then the second reason is the man himself. Then the third reason is the wife he married. It is unfortunate to discover that majority of the reasons actually fell on the woman. A woman is in better position to support or to discourage her husband from cheating. But I want to let you know that without God in a marriage, it will almost be impossible to prevent a man from cheating. So what every woman should be doing is to pray, one, for the salvation of her husband and also for God to help the man to be self-disciplined. Because when a man fear God and become disciplined, the issue of sexual immorality or cheating on the spouse will become a thing of the past. Okay. Number one of the reasons why men cheat is the society does not see anything wrong in a man cheating. When a woman cheats, it is a taboo, it is a stigma, it is an aberration. People see the woman as an indecent woman, as an immoral woman. But when a man cheats, people will not see anything wrong with it. And they may even go to the extent of blaming his wife. So the society has given men a soft landing, a fertile ground, an opportunity, a reason to go and do anything they want to do without anything attached to it. Number two reason is that the society even the African culture encourages men to be polygamous. In other words, a man can go ahead and marry more than one wife without any punishment. So if the world in general and African culture does not disturb or does not discourage a man from marrying more than one wife, instead they encourage them in as much as they can take care of it. Men will see it as an opportunity to go ahead and do anything they want to do. Number three reason is men are weaker morally compared to women. Men are very weak. Women are stronger than men. You may not understand what I'm saying, but research has proven that women are more morally sound when you compare them to men. Men are weak and that is one of the reasons they cheat. Even some of them that do not also want to cheat, when they are faced with temptation, sometimes they try to lose their guard because they are morally weaker than women. Number four of the reason is men love sex adventure. Men are adventurous in nature. They want to taste of anything that is unscathed. A natural man, an average man, want to see everything that is unscathed. Most men will think that sex differs in sizes of women. They believe that a tall one will be different from a short one. A fair one will also be different from a black one. And they, try, they want as much as possible to try everything that they see. That is the reason why most men will say a man should not eat only one soup every time because it is tiring. You see the mentality. They want to be adventurous. They want to taste everything to see how sweet it is. But in the actual sense of it, sex is sex. But men want to taste everything. They want to go into adventure. Number five of the reason why men cheat is 
men believe that they are the head of the home and therefore a woman does not have a say in the home. So when a man sees himself as, I am the head of this home, therefore I can do anything I want to do. Even if I cheat on, on, on my wife, she does not have a right to say anything. They will go ahead and cheat. That is another reason why men cheat. Number six of the reason why men cheat is, some men do it as a revenge to the bad character of a woman. Some men cheat on their wives because they want to revenge the way their wife treated them or the ill character of their wife. So women must be very cautious when it comes to this, to know how your relationship should be with your husband. And okay, and number seven of it is ungodly friends. When a man begin to keep friends with ungodly people, with people that do not fear God, with people that are womanizers. When a man begin to follow men that commit adultery, that cheat on their spouses, it will only take a short period of time for the man to also begin to cheat on his wife. Yes, the Bible says, bad company corrupts good manner. It will only take a period of time. That is why the Bible says we should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. When a person do not fear God, when you keep an ungodly friend, it has a way of assimilating you to their own behavior. Men must be very cautious. And women must also try to discourage their husband from being among men that are unchristian, that do not have godly principles operating in their lives. Be very careful. Number eight of the reason is bad character. Like what I told you, if a woman has bad character, it will be almost impossible for that woman to please her husband. And her husband will begin to run away from the house. Because men do not like to associate with women that have bad character. They don't like it. They don't like it. And because of that, they begin to go out. And any man that decides to be staying outside, forgetting the company of his children, forgetting that he has a home, begin to come back late at night. It will only take a short period of time for the man to begin to have extramarital affairs. Yes, when you use your bad character to pursue your husband from the home, the man will begin to look for solace outside. And definitely, he is going to see a woman that will be ready to accommodate him. And when another woman begins to accommodate your husband, it becomes a problem. Women, take note. Number nine of the reason is nagging of women. A woman that nag pursues her husband away from the house. Nagging is one of the things that men hate most. And what is nagging? Repeating something over and over and over as if your husband is not hearing. Men hear, but when you keep repeating something over and over and over, a man will be tired, and when he's tired, he's going to go out. A woman that nag usually pursue her husband away, and that is one of the reasons why some men also cheat on their wives. Number 10 of the reason is when a woman is dirty. When she cannot keep her home, if a man come back from the work or come back from outside and he gets to meet the baby's, uh, the baby's clothes on the chair, on the bed or anywhere, the place that is supposed to be cleaned is not cleaned and even the woman herself is dirty, a man will not be comfortable with a woman that is dirty, that cannot keep her home well. It, it irritates men. If you want to keep your husband, if you want to actually make your husband to be faithful to you, you must try as much as possible to remain clean and healthy. You must be ready not to be dirty. You must remove every dirtiness from your life because men does not like women that are dirty. Number 11 of the reason is when a woman lacks respect and submission for her husband. Men are not motivated by plenty, I love you. They want to see it practically. They want you to demonstrate it. And how do you demonstrate that you love your husband? It is by the way you respect him. 
it is by the way you submit to him. If you wait for a man to love you first before you submit, you are doing a wrong thing. Do your own duty as a woman. And your duty as a woman is to respect your husband. Say yes, sir. Any woman that is not ready to answer yes, sir, to a man that is not yet ready for marriage. Men will cheat on their wives if their wives are not submissive and does not have respect for them. It is not the level of the love you have for them. It is the level of respect you have for your husband that will make him to stay and to be and, and to be faithful. Let me tell you something. This is a secret that many people do not know. Yes, many people do not know. The character of a woman determines whether her husband will be faithful or not. Yes. Even if her husband is not faithful, any time the man becomes unfaithful, he will remember the character of his wife. And it is the character that will begin to judge him. It is the character of the wife that will change a man. It is not plenty talks that changes a man, but the character of a woman. It is only a virtuous woman that can change a man. Nothing changes a man. Your nagging can never change a man. Your plenty talk can never change a man. Your counsel, your trying to counsel him will not stop him from what he wants to do. Instead, he's going to see you as you are not submissive, as you talk too much, as you are authoritative, as you are bossy. But when you bring up your best character, your good character in the home and submit to him, my sister, your husband will love you because of your character. I am telling you the truth. Practice it and it will work for you. Number 12 of the reason is laziness. When a woman is lazy and she is unable to discharge her marital and domestic responsibility, her husband will not be satisfied with her. Laziness can drive a man away from a woman. Yes, it is possible. When a woman is lazy, she is telling her husband that she does not want becoming the woman that he married. If you are lazy, you must learn to shun laziness. Laziness has made many women to lose their husbands. I'm telling you the truth. Laziness has made many women to lose their husbands to strange women. A woman that is ready for marriage must learn to be hardworking an industrious woman. Look at the Bible, the woman that was written in the book of Proverbs chapter 31. The Bible told us that she was virtuous and one of the virtues that she had is hard working. She wakes up in the morning and she do her duty, her matrimonial duty, responsibly, even without anybody reminding her. It is almost impossible for a lazy woman to please her husband. You must be ready to please your husband by becoming industrious. When you are hardworking, your husband knows and he will appreciate you for that. Number 13 of the reason is when a woman uses sex denial as a weapon against her husband. When you use sex as a punishment on your husband, maybe your husband is supposed to do something but he fails to do it and at night when he's requiring you to come and satisfy him sexually, you say no, because he did not do what you have told him to do. Therefore, you are not going to, to give sex to him. Ha! You are pursuing your husband. Don't use sex denial as a tool to punish your husband. Because if your husband does not get it from you, a man must be satisfied. And that is one of the reasons why many men have gone out. Because their wives at home is depriving him of sex. Now, look at it. A man must be satisfied. And you that is supposed to satisfy him sexually is denying him. Where do you think the man is going to go and satisfy himself? You are the one to satisfy him, but you are denying him. Will he not go out? You must use your common sense. Stop using sex denial as a tool for punishment in the home. It is not a good thing. The same thing goes for men. Anytime your wife is in need of it, you must be ready and willing to give it to her because it is her right. The Bible told us 
that the body of a woman belongs to the man and the body of the man also belongs to the woman. Therefore, in no account should a man deprive his wife and also the wife deprive her husband. You must be balanced. Never deny yourself. Number 14 of the reason is sexual inactivities and varieties. You are not ready to add spices to your sexual life. As a woman that wants to please her husband, you must be ready to add varieties. Don't be inactive on bed. Anytime you are making love with your husband, you must be ready to be active. Don't say, ah, do make it come out because I don't tire. No, that is not the language a man wants to hear. He wants you to be active. He wants you to enjoy it the way he wants to enjoy it. Let me tell you also the truth. When a woman is not enjoying sex, a man will not enjoy it. Even if a man came to orgasm, but the woman was not interested in that sex, the man will not be happy and the man is not satisfied. The ejaculation of a man does not mean that the sex was satisfying. It is his ability to please a woman that makes a man to be happy. Number 15 of the reason is looking unattractive. When you begin to look unattractive as a woman, you are beginning to lose the interest of your husband on you. Don't look unattractive. If it takes you to put your shape in order, put it in order. There are things that your husband loves. There is a reason why your husband came to you. There is a reason why your husband came to woo you. There is a reason why he decided to marry you. If you see these reasons, why your husband decide to marry you, continue to do those things. Those are the things that your husband loves. Continue to do those things your husband loves. It is unfortunate to see that many women immediately they get married, no longer take care of themselves. The things that attracted their husband, they no longer do it. They begin to look un unkept, begin to look unattractive, so tattered and dirty. No! If you know what pleases your husband, you must continue to do them. You must continue to put spices. You must continue to, to, to please your husband. Those things your husband loves, please continue to do it. Those things that brought him to you, continue to do those things. At this time, please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I would like you to subscribe and also click the notification link because it is going to help us. The sixteenth reason why some men cheat is when they get married to career women. When a woman prefers her job or career above her marriage, it makes it impossible for the man to be happy at home. Because a man as well needs a woman's company. When you are preoccupied about your work, about your market, about your business, to the detriment of your marriage, your husband may not find it very easy. And that can also lead a man to cheat or have some extramarital affairs outside. The 17th reason is childlessness. So many homes have been broken and so many men have tried to marry other women because their wives were unable to give birth to children. And even when they give birth to children, and they were also unable to give birth to male children, African men value male children so much. And because of that, they try to go outside in order to give birth to male children or have children of their own. That is also one of the reasons why some men go out to cheat. Number 18 is, when a woman of the house have fake personality, in other words, she is not real. She try to copy others to make herself feel better. When a woman does not have self-esteem, she begins to try to put all manner of makeup. There is no way you can be fake all your life. Your husband will discover who you are. Maybe a man wanted to marry a kind of a woman and you fake yourself to become that kind of woman. And eventually when he got married to you, you begin to show your true color in the house. You see that the man is not going to be happy because you are not his original intention. And that can also make a man to be unhappy and that will lead him to extramarital affairs. It is good that women that are not yet married should be themselves. 
be yourself be natural don't try to copy others because copying others will make you to be limited you will never see your true husband if you are copying if you are trying to be like somebody else then the number 19th reason is when a woman makes the home uncomfortable for the man a man loves a peaceful home a man wants to be in a home where he can put his head and he lies down quietly but when he gets married to a woman that does not give him peace of mind that is always looking for problem and trouble every time that man will not be ready to stay in that home a man will not be ready to stay with you in the same home that you are making uncomfortable for him then number 20 which is the final reason is suspicion and unnecessary blame when a woman begins to suspect her husband of immorality you are suspecting and you are showing the man that you are suspecting him that can also lead a man to cheat on you when you begin to ask a man unnecessary questions you begin to nag because you are suspecting him maybe you saw somebody and you begin to ask who is this person who is that person who will call you begin to check his phone you begin to do all manner of things to be sincere those things are good but you must limit yourself to certain things don't do things that will show that you are suspecting him because when a man find out that you are suspecting him he may do what you are suspecting him for thank you very much for watching this channel if you have not subscribed subscribe please i would like you to share this message to your friends to your well wishers and to your siblings god bless you in jesus name amen i pray that your marriage will be good i pray that cheating and unfaithfulness will not be part of your home in jesus name amen